Shalom, Shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. As given all praise to the Most High, name was only begotten the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon, camp down here in Tel Florida. Uh, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And in this video, I want to, you know, go into what you just saw on the screen. Okay, this woman. It says, breaking news, a woman attacked by three loose and out of control dogs in the park, in a park in Stephanie, uh, um, Stephanie, East London today. Such dogs have killed 29 people in Britain since 2010. As we can see, this lady was terrified as she came under a sustained attack by the dogs. Okay, that's under a, 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 a sustained attack by the dogs. And really the Lord put the spirit on these dogs to attack this woman. You know, who knows what she have done, you know, you know, in the, how many, you know, in what way she has offended the Lord. You know, but ultimately it's his judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the Lord put the spirit on these dogs to attack. And you have a lot of people, you know, um, especially our people, that's going to be taken by these different, you know, ways of destruction, you know, and the Lord told us this. This is why you got to repent. Seek your help by Shemesh and truth and sincerity. You know, those dogs are trying to tear her arm off, bro. You know? So it says, Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 3, And I will point over them four kinds, saith Yahweh, the sword to slay and the dogs to tear and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Okay, so the Lord is appointing these different ways of destruction unto our people. For their wickedness, man. And it said the sword to slay and dogs to tear. All right. And the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth to destroy, to devour and destroy. And that's what you saw right here in this video. Now, you know, there's, you know, the owner, he was trying to, you know, um, he was trying to, uh, hold, you know, uh, uh, restrain the dogs. But once those dogs get, 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 get that bite on you, bro, they're not finna let go, man. That, it's a guy that's some called lockjaw. You know, and once those dogs get 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 a good bite on you, hey, you know, they're going to start shaking and tearing flesh. You know, she probably had all types of different, you know, horrific wounds on her body from, you know, not probably definitely had all types of horrific wounds on her body from, from these dogs. And once the woman wants a dog tastes blood, it's going to taste blood again. Okay. Now, the Lord told us that this time was going to come where people where uh, people were going to our people were going to be start getting destroyed and slaughtered and you know uh put to death in horrific ways and when this time does come the lord told us about what we should do at this time you know and when we see in this then this is why ultimately why we go out there when we preach this word and we tell you this truth you know so that you know you can't say that you can't say that you didn't know all right so this is um the book of jeremiah chapter 7 verse 16 it says therefore pray not thou for this people neither lift up a neither lift up cry nor prayer for them Neither make an accession to me, for I will not hear thee. So the Lord said, don't even pray for these people, bro. You know, and and, 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 and we're doing our job right now by, by going out there and prophesying and telling you what's coming, telling you to repent, to seek your heart by Shem Yahweh Shai. But there's going to come a time where our people are, you know, are, are going to are gonna have to face the music, man. The ones of you that rejected, the ones that, 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 that you that forsook, the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you're going to have to face the music, man, and ultimately be ultimately be destroyed. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 14, Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. You see, so these, these niggas going to start crying to the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, which I ain't, that ain't even his right name. And the Lord said he's not going to hear you, man. Because he had his prophets out here to warn you and tell you and to show you how to serve him. And you rejected that, man. Let me grab this too. Because the Lord gonna put us in a certain spirit that you know when 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 this hell do come upon our people, we gonna be protected and also we gonna be uh uh you know laughing at you, bro. We ain't gonna have no mercy and no pity for you people, you know. Especially the black woman. These black women to pass by us at camp and they'll talk shit. You know they'll be walking around with Edomites. You know. They hit they 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 they. Scripture says, "She that is mine enemy shall see it." Okay. It says Job chapter five verse. 
Let me go to verse 17. It says, Behold, happy is the man whom the Most High correcteth. Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. So the Most High corrects us. And he says, you cannot despise the chastening of the Almighty. And the scripture says, you know, he chasteneth those that, that he love. So he may, the Lord may correct you. You know, he, 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 he you know, even us coming to the truth, we were corrected. You know, and we get chastised from time to time. That's why brothers catch hell. Hey, don't be, you know, getting discouraged because you're catching a little hell. This thing is about catching hell, man. You know, shall we receive good from the most high, not evil? Okay, but at least you ain't getting tore up like, like that's by dogs and shit. It says, and, and, and the Lord protects us from this. It says, for he maketh sore and bindeth up, he woundeth, and his hands make whole. So when this woman got wounded, the Most High did that. Okay, Deuteronomy uh, chapter 39, verse 32. You know, how he killed, he make alive, he wounds, and he heals. So the Lord ultimately allowed and sanctioned this. It says, he shall deliver thee in six troubles, yet in seven there shall no evil touch thee. So these troubles are talking about destruction, you know, these different plagues that's coming to the earth. And, and the seventh plague, which is completion. It's going to be that, that final plague, which is those thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay, and, 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 when, and when we serve in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai means he, or, um, he delivers, we hoping that he delivers us. Okay, we hoping that he delivers us, you know, and saves us from, from, from the times that we're coming into. It says, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death, and in the war from the power of the sword. So in famine, the Lord is going to redeem us from death, and the Lord will our children as well. It says, Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of the destruction when it cometh. So we're not going to be afraid of the destruction when it cometh, man. I just saw a video where the brother and the brother shared about how they're going to have a cyber attack. And in, people, you know, in the video he said, you know, the best thing you can be is, you know, sane, you know, of a, of a sound mind when all this stuff happens. And not like everybody else, everybody's going to freak out and lose their mind. But those of us that have this understanding, scripture says the wisdom and knowledge and understanding shall be the stability of thy times. So we're going to be stable, man. You know, we're going to have a sound mind. We're going to be able to, to, to think rationally and, and not, you know, emotionally or erratically because of what's going on around us. And because of that, you will last a lot longer than, than, than these people that's around you. It says, um, be thou. It says, if famine thou shall redeem, be redeemed from, shall he redeem from the, from, from thee from death. And from the war of the power of the sword, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the destruction when it cometh. So we're not going to be afraid, bro. We're going to be laughing at destruction when it comes. Because it's going to come upon these wicked people. Okay, especially you wicked jakes. It says, at destruction and a famine, thou shalt laugh. So we're going to see much destruction and much famine. People getting destroyed and starving to death. And we're going to laugh, man. You're going to see the same people that talk shit that pass by us. You women that walk by with the Edomites. You know, cause, cause he, 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 right now Esau get, get, get the finest of our women, you know, he get the finest of our women and, and, and those same women will, 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 will scoff and mock us, you know, they pretty much, you know, sided with the devil. Well, guess what? We're going to see these same individuals getting jacked up, begging for help. Please help me, help me. He's going to be mocking them. And that's really going to be the spirit of your whole body. I'll shy mocking you, man. It says at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. You see, so we're not going to be afraid of the beasts of the earth, man. You know, when these um, animals, you know, get uh, uh, vicious, when they get hungry, you know, and even these people, these, you know, these beastly nations, man, that's going to be out here raping, robbing, and pillaging. We ain't going to be afraid of them, man. It says, thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. You see, so the beast of the field should be at peace with us. So these same dogs, you may pass by, and they may look at you and your family and, and, and you, know, turn, you know, turn a blind eye. Or protect you, you know. Scripture says that you shall be in league with the stones of the field. Like, like if a dog see a stone, it ain't gonna attack a stone, you know. It's it's, it's gonna be like the stone is not is not even there. Well, that's how we gonna be when these, when these vicious animals see us. You gonna have gorillas escaping out of the zoo, beating on their chest on the street, swinging from, you know, uh, a street light to street light, and they are gonna land on a nigga head and tear his head off, you know, rip his head off like a salary stalk, you know. And these will all be spirits created for vengeance, man. You know, the most high is the one that's sending, 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 sending this destruction, okay? It says, um, it's Ecclesiastes or the book of the rocks, 39, verse 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, it's like unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. For the good, for the good are good things created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. So the Most High has created evil things for sinners. Okay. 
Let me go down to verse 27. It says, all these are for good to, a, to, to the godly. So to sinners, they are turned to evil, going into the, you know, the fire, the water, the iron, the salt, the, f the flour, the wheat, the honey. You know, these things that, 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 that you know, these, these essential things in, in the earth, people take it and they take, they take advantage of it. They, they use people with it. But let's go to verse 28. Here's the point. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. OK, so all the wickedness just you on the earth, you, you have to answer for it. OK, the Lord will, will send spirits created for vengeance on your ass. It says, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they have pour out the, their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. You see, so the most I will put a certain spirit on a dog. It could be your dog, man. You can have his dog for. A, and I got I got I got a co-worker. My job is showing me all these dogs got in his house. You know, the nigga told me he loved baking and shit. But he got all these dogs and this dude got over like six, you know, six, seven, eight dogs in his house. You know, big ass bullies, pit, you know, pit bulls and bullies and shit. I'm like, yo, yo, one day them dogs gonna fucking, you know, jump on your ass. And as soon as one do it, they all gonna do it. Okay? It says, uh, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. You see? Here it goes. It says, teeth of wild beast. And those dogs, you know, got wild on her ass, man. And those teeth, you know, she was feeling those teeth. It says serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. So this woman was not, you know, she 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 was not innocent, man. You know, that was the spirit of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai punishing her for her for, for for her iniquity, for her sins. You know? And whatever way form or fashion he see fit, he about to start punishing and destroying these people off the face of the earth. You know, in, in a rapid number. You know. Beyond anything that you that you could put, you know, fathom your mind around or put a finger on. You're going to start seeing people get destroyed in, the, you know, crazy ways, man. And this is why we, you know, serve you all by some y'all with fear and trembling. So, Lord willing, this, this stuff don't come upon us, man. You know, we don't want this, this destruction, this death to come upon us because it's definitely about to come up. It's, it's already coming upon everybody else. All right. So, with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom. I'm coming. 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 Shalom.